Ignorance or mistake as to a matter of fact or law is a defense if the ignorance or mistake negatives the purpose, knowledge, belief, recklessness, or negligence required to establish a material element of the offense. Where ignorance or mistake as to an element tends to negative, that is, to negate the required culpability, then it is relevant. Mistake is relevant if it negates culpability. Fair enough. But when does culpability have to be shown as to a certain element? This is where the Bramwell and Brett approaches diverge. It is also where each of them left us having to guess at least some of the time. The model penal code instead insists that, except as otherwise provided, a person is not guilty of an offense unless he acted purposely, knowingly, recklessly, or negligently, as the law may require, as to each material element of the offense. In other words, we are to assume, in default of other instruction, that culpability must be shown as to every material element of an offense. The model penal code default is that culpability must be shown as to each material element. So, unlike under the Brett and Bramall approaches, we don't have to ask which elements bear the culpability requirements and which ones don't. They all do. Everyone. What do I mean, everyone? What do you mean, everyone? Everyone! Sorry, that was Gary Oldman, not me. But he's right. Culpability as to everyone, what? Every material element of the offense. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, well... Material elements of an offense means an element that does not relate exclusively to matter unconnected with the harm or evil sought to be prevented by the law defining the offense. The drafter's fondness for the double negative doesn't help. What they mean is that jurisdiction, venue, statute limitations, etc. are not material elements. For a Georgia court to try a murder case, it has to have jurisdiction, but the accused cannot defend by saying he thought he was in Alabama when he committed the offense. Our subject is the material elements, the ones that define the precise harm or evil the lawmaker wants to address. Material elements are, of course, elements. It helps to recall that the model penal code allows us to refer to three types of elements. Conduct, attendant circumstances, and result. Conduct consists of an act or a series of acts. Culpability, purpose, knowledge, reckless negligence, are not elements in this basic sense, but they attach to or establish the material elements. One more thing. Which of them attach if certain statute does not contain any of them? Simple. When the culpability sufficient to establish a material element of an offense is not prescribed by law, such element is established if a person acts purposely, knowingly, or recklessly with respect thereto. In other words, the default is recklessness. Under the general part of the Model Penal Code, Prince would have been an easy case the Crown would have had to have convinced the fact finder that the defendant was reckless, or worse, as to the age of the victim. No need to haggle about morality or to ransack other law to see if what the accused knew he was doing constituted some other crime. And the jury, which declared that Prince reasonably believed that his alleged victim was over the statutory age, would have acquitted if following instructions based on the general part of the model penal code.